everyone! Welcome, it's Jaff here. Um, I'm here to demonstrate how to create a technique that I have um, been developing um, for a number <laughs> of months and weeks now. Um, but I'm really excited that I finally remembered uh, the process because I tend to be very organic in what I do, so I, ne I, I never remember my processes. So, um, so now I do remember and I've tried to keep it as simple as possible so that other people can do it. Um, so, uh, this is called Bohemian or slash boho coffee staining. So this is where we're taking our coffee staining or coffee dyeing our papers to the next level. And right here you have an example of this. Now, um, the colours are amazing. Now, when you look at that, you would think, oh my goodness, how many hours did it take her to do that? It doesn't take any time at all. In fact, you don't need any paints. You don't need any anything um, except for a favourite stencil or takes your your coffee staining to that next level, especially if you're wanting to do a boho um, or bohemian style or gypsy style um, journal. Yes. So, um, okay, <laughs> okay. This is the secret. The secret is coloured paper. Now, I don't know if this is universal, but for some reason, the paper that I, by happy accident, as I was experimenting with. Um, the video on using your scraps of paper to kind of take your coffee stain to the next level. Um, I noticed that there was quite a lot of bleed through with these offcuts. So all I do, oh, and let me just show you. One of the happy accidents is the wonderful kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but amazing um, fade out effects or impressions made on the cardstock that's underneath that. So I'm going to keep using these colours until the, the actual dye has completely disappeared. But I will throw in some extra ones here. So please excuse my head for a moment. I'm going to put just a bit more pizzazz of colour um, just underneath. Now I have to say that the magenta is the colour that really um, works beautifully but if you can sort of, there we go, okay, um, where else can I put it? Yeah. Now the reason why I'm putting it underneath is because that seems to be the better effect. Um, rather than on top, because on top you'll just get the impression of the actual cut of the um, of the the colour that bleeds through. But anyway, this is how easy it is. Now I'm using just a bottle of water in this instance, okay? And I'll just see if this is in frame. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, I've got my coffee staining tray here, so that's what I'm going to be doing if you don't see any movement. So that's my brew. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Okay. Now, if you can see this, yeah. All right. So what I've got here is, oh, what I'll do, sorry guys, sorry. I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow because the yellow is so pretty. Okay. Um, so if you've got colored cardstock, that will bleed through. Um, you can always experiment to see if you dip it in water and put it on the white page. If it's leaking, if it's bleeding the colour through, then great. This is going to work for you. So this is how easy it is. Now, for now, um, if you do have a stencil, the swirls are the best. It's the swirls that really give it that boho effect, as you can see here. And that's why I'm calling it a bohemian um, coffee staining technique. Now, this is done on digital paper. That's why everything is so sharp and so vivid. Um, but I'm just using plain um, copy, copy uh, paper um, that you use for printing and things. 
Now, I just looked at the time and I've only got three minutes left. So I'll try to be as quick as possible because this won't take long now. In here I've got water. Now, I sometimes have trouble with my spray atomizers. So I've just filled it up with a bit of hot water and I've cleaned my nozzle and it should be good to go. So you're going to give it a really massive coat of water and it will start to bleed the um, papers underneath. So remember your stencil needs to be on top for this to actually be really effective. So really saturate it with your um, um, atomizer. Now there is gold spray paint on top of the um, stencil that you might consider doing. And what it does, that actually gets activated with the coffee and the water and you get some beautiful impressions of gold uh, coming through as well, which once again is a very boho thing. So now all I'm doing is I'm dipping my papers into the, um, my paper I should say, into my coffee brew. I hope you can see this. So I'm doing this one hand and I better put it down again. And um, so I've just done that. And now all you do is you lay it down. And I just move that out of the way. I'm going to dip. I've just dipped this into my coffee. And I'm just going to just push this down. Because when you push it down, it means that your um, the stencil and the papers underneath are going to stick to this so that it can do its thing. So that's it everyone. Now if you want to spray some more coffee or sprinkle some more um, coffee over the top, you can. You know, you can sort of drip some on if you wish. Um, but not too much because what's going to happen is this will start bleeding through. What's underneath will start bleeding through as well. So you actually get a double sided effect um, as we have seen in this. So yeah. So anyway everyone, I've only got 43 minutes, uh, 43 seconds left so I better go but that's the way to do your um, bohemian boho coffee staining. I hope you like this technique. Please stay tuned to see the results. Thank you everyone. Bye. Hi. Hi everyone. It's Jaff here from Medieval Mirage. Okay. Just a huge warm welcome to everyone and I just wanted to show you the results of our, um, our work yesterday on um, showing you my Bohemian Boho coffee staining technique and just using coloured cardstock. So I haven't touched it. And I've left it overnight because it, it is quite soaking wet with everything. So you've got to leave it overnight. But if you do do this and you actually start watching it every half hour or hour, you will see something magical happen because the colours of the cardstock bleed through the stencil and up into the front of your paper or the top side of your paper I should say. So this is what it's looking like and I'm so delighted, I'm so excited. So you can see what I'm talking about with the swirls. Um, you know how almost embossed, I'm trying to focus as best I can here. Now the colours will vary because if you keep using these um, the cardstock will eventually fade.
but it's still quite remarkable the colors does it that it does leak through so um, we just added the the very you can see how very bright this is because we just added the um, kind of aqua bold colors um, and that's why it's so intense but the colors have become a bit muted so anyway that's just the top side let's check out the other side the, the side where everything was happening so if I'm out of focus for a moment please excuse me I'm doing this one-handed okay let's have a look Wow <laughs> I have to say oh my goodness Wow I'm so happy oh my goodness look at the colors there oh wow yeah it's um it's pretty pretty beautiful real beautiful colors without and I haven't even done anything so this is mixed media without you really having to do anything. I mean, look at the swirl of colors there. It's like someone has been swirling those colors, like to get that kind of marble effect that you get in old books, you know. I didn't touch it. All I did was the process. Remember how I showed you? Um, but yeah, so this is why I'm calling it the Bohemian Boho Coffee Staining. A technique because it does give it that kind of boho feel um, especially with the bright colors and those swells that it, it really does ah, so um, yeah I, I'm sure I had a lot of other things to tell you but um, but what we'll do we'll just zoom in again so you can have a closer look because this, because I haven't seen this either properly up close and personal. This is I've been waiting to see it with you guys. If I um, yeah. So I'll just try and keep it in focus for you. So there you go, there you go. So some of the colours. Um, sorry. Let me get it in focus. So some of the colours are muted. And some of the colors are bold but that's because if we have a look underneath if I lift it up all right okay so I added some of the bright yellows and that's why we got that bright so that there um, that's that one there and wherever the bright yellows are we sort of tuck them underneath um, and we tucked that blue and I think we tucked in the purple so remember how that's a bit deeper there we did tuck a bit of purple in um, so it must have been somewhere there but see the uh, see what happens though the colors eventually mu become muted and they even start changing colors so like I said to you I'm not sure if a colored cardstock is universally um, you know, it reacts to water. Uh, I'm not sure if it reacts to water universally, but the cardstock that I had, uh, this is what I'm producing. So, um, yeah, so that's that. Now, uh, boho bohemian technique.